everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'd like to introduce you to some new uses for dust today. Most people are familiar with painting with luster dust or with petal dust. And if you're not, I invite you to go look at our video on painting with luster dust. But today what I'm gonna show you is how to color with them. So basically I get a lot of questions about, hey, I can't get my fondant or my buttercream really vibrant or a deep red or a deep black. And that is difficult. It does take a little bit more, but I think if I show you how to do it with the less than and the dust that you're really gonna find a lot of success with it. So if you look at these, I did these last night. Basically, I'll show you how to put them together, but if you let them, wrap them up and let them sit overnight, that color is going to deepen. So I just wrapped that up, and you can see, like this one kind of looked like a dark charcoal gray right after I mixed it up. When I wrapped it and left it, kind of gives it time for that color to develop, and it really becomes a lot more vibrant. So since I have the black and the red already done, I'm just going to introduce you to it with the hot pink. That's a really popular color as well. So basically, I have a cup of uh, just regular American buttercream here. So I'm basically just going to make a well right here. Okay, and then I'm going to use my lecithin. This is a really important piece to getting these deep, vibrant colors. So what I like to do is I always use a plastic spoon, and I'm going to use for about a cup of buttercream about a half a teaspoon of the lecithin, and I'm just going to put it down in that well, and I'm just going to stick it. It's going to stick to the spoon, so I'm going to leave that down in there for now, and then I'm going to use the magenta dust, and I'll also use about a half a teaspoon of that. Okay. Careful, it doesn't all come out at once, but I'll use about a half a teaspoon of that. Just put it right there on top of the lecithin. And then I'm also gonna give it a little boost with the Americolor Electric Pink. And these things work really, really well together. So again, about a half a teaspoon of that as well. All right. So I'm just gonna kind of mix my colors that are right there on top of the lecithin. I'm gonna try to mix these together before really incorporating it deep into the buttercream. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help you avoid graininess. It's really gonna help activate those uh, powder colors and it's gonna help deepen their color. All right, so I've got that mainly mixed in and I'm gonna just kind of scrape that off and then just go ahead and mix with my bigger spoon so I can get way down in there. And again, you can do this in your mixer as well if you're doing a larger batch, but I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to get a nice deep vibrant color right off the bat if you use these three components together, the powder color, um, the lecithin, and the Americolor gel, which I really, really love. So this gave you a really vibrant color right off the bat. So you can adjust to your tone if you like it a little bit darker or you like it a little bit less dark. Again, if you're trying to get the reds and blacks or like a deep navy, try setting that up the night before and wrapping it up and letting it rest because it's really going to deepen over time. Let me show you also, and this kind of reverts back to painting with the dust, but this case we're not going to use anything liquid. What I have here is just a chocolate that's molded right out of the key chocolate mold and I'm going to take my gold and bronze colors here and just give them a little bit of tone. I'll go with the bronze first. So this is again on a milk chocolate and I'm just going to dip my brush in there and shake off the excess and I'm just going to coat this a little bit kind of rubbing it onto the chocolate. And the reason I'm doing this dry instead of wet, like you would paint a fondant or a gum paste, is that when it's wet, the chocolate tends to repel it a little bit. So if you kind of just massage that dry color in there, you might end up getting a, a better tone. So let me just switch brushes real quick and we'll see. That's the bronze. And this is again the crystal color line. And this is the, the gold color. So again, just kind of massaging that down in there and kind of rubbing off the excess is going to give you a nice tone that you want. I, I really love this look on the chocolate acorns and leaves and that sort of thing for fall also. So that's just another way that you can use some of the dust that we have. We've got everything from a variety of colors of petal dust to luster dust to the crystal colors. I think all of them you're going to find a really great vibrant end product in both your fondant, your buttercreams, and your chocolate. So give those a try and don't forget your lecithin. It's a really important ingredient in getting vibrant colors. Have fun with it.